Here in today's lecture, we will learn how to find the equation of a parabola when we are given elements. So let's start the lecture and take first example. Here we are given with a focus point and with a vertex point. And now in this situation, with this given information, we have to find the equation of a parabola. As you see that the vertex is not at origin, means here is the value of h and here is the value of k. So we use one of the equations which is x minus h square which is equals to plus minus 4ay minus k and second one which is a possibility to use here which is this form plus minus 4ax minus h. First we analyze the given information and after this we are able to decide at which parabola we obtain and then use a suitable equation one of these. So for analyzing the parabola First of all, what is a focus point? Mean in x-axis there is minus 1 and is 0 means here is my focus point which is minus 1, 0 and the vertex point is in y-axis positive 2 means minus 1 and 2. So here is my vertex point which is minus 1 and 2. Here we have to find the value of a. As we know that the distance between the focus and the vertex point is equal to the distance between a vertex and a directex. If I denote the distance between them is a, then by applying the formula between two points, it will be minus 1 minus and then minus 1 square. The sign is plus then 2 minus 0 with scale and the whole term is in a vertical sign. Minus 1 plus 1 with scale and plus 2 scale. So in the next step it will be 0 scale and it will be 4. So we are left with 4 radical which is equals to 2. Means we finally obtain the value of a which is 2. Mean the distance between the focus and vertex which is a which is equals to 2. If I move to units, if here is 3 and here is 4, then here is y is equals to 4 is a directex line which is this. So always remember that the parabola opens towards the focus and away from this directex line. In that case, here is a vertex and here is a focus point means the parabola opens downward and we use the equation in that case is this equation with this negative sign because parabola opens downward means if we draw a just a rough sketch then we can say that parabola is open just like this way putting all these values which is h k and a in this equation with negative sign then we obtain the required equation of parabola in that case so we have the x is x and minus the value of h which is minus 1 which is minus 1 with scale which is equals to minus 4 the value of a which is we find which is 2 and y minus the value of k is 2. So it will be x plus 1 scale which is equals to minus 8y minus 2. x scale plus 1 plus 2x which is equals to minus 8y plus 16. Then we solve further then it will be x scale plus 2x plus 8y plus 1 minus 16 which is equals to 0 and in our last step it will be x square plus 2x plus 8y minus 15 which is equals to 0. So this is the required equation of a parabola which is this parabola that we obtain by a given information which is a focus point and this vertex point. Let us move to next example. So in our second example we are given the information which is the axis which is y is equals to 0 and these points on a parabola. So as you see that the parabola which is y is equals to 0 which means that in y axis is 0 so if we have a vertex which is a vertex which is hk so this is a x coordinate and this is a y coordinate that this value of k is 0 we use the equation which is y minus k square which is equals to x minus h and here is 
a confusion that this given information is not enough to decide that the parabola opens right side or a left side so we use a unknown term which is i suppose alpha and what is alpha alpha which is equals to 4a or minus 4a because we are not able to find out this term by using the this information and one more thing we say that the vertex is k is equals to 0 because the x is y is equals to 0 so we rewrite this term as y square which is equals to alpha x minus h and always remember that we are not decide that it will be 4a or minus 4a suppose that this is my first equation here the unknown terms are alpha means alpha is equal to question mark and we have to find the value of h which is equal to question mark basically this is our aim to find to find the equation of parabola in that case two points are on a parabola so we use the second information that these two points lie on our parabola so put these two points in our first equation one by one put our first point which is 2 1 in first equation 1 square which is equals to alpha is unknown the value of x which is 2 in that case so 2 minus h because h is also unknown so it will be 1 is equals to 2 alpha minus alpha h 2 minus h so if i suppose this is my second equation put our second point in first equation so we also get another equation okay minus 2 in that case so put here which is equal to so alpha is unknown the value of x is 11 minus h if we simplify this it will be 4 which is equals to alpha 11 minus h and this will be our third equation so we have these two equations and these two unknowns from my second equation i will con conclude that alpha is equal to 1 divided by 2 minus a so it will be 4 which is equals to what is alpha which is here 1 divided by 2 minus h and here is 11 minus h so if we solve this term then we conclude the value of h so it will be 4 2 minus h if we multiply 2 minus h on both sides then we will get 11 minus h 8 minus 4 h which is equals to 11 minus h minus 4 h plus h and 11 minus h so we will get minus 3 h which is equals to 3 so we finally conclude the first unknown term value which is h so alpha which is equals to 1 divided by 2 minus h and the value of h is minus 1 which is equals to 1 divided by 2 plus 1 which is equals to 1 divided by 3. So it will be y square which is equals to the value of alpha is 1 divided by 3 and x minus h the h is minus 1 so if we solve further then it will be we say that 3 y square which is equals to x plus 1 and in our last step 3y square minus x minus 1 which is equals to 0 so here is our final equation of a parabola so here is our last axis of a parabola is parallel these two lines show that parallel to y axis and the second information is that these three points lie on a parabola that there are two conditions for we must revise the definition of the x that a line passing through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix is called the axis of a parabola if i suppose that i have a vertex in this point and i suppose that this is my focus point i have this parabolic shape and if this is y axis and this is a shifted parabola means not at origin vertex is not at origin then here is y dash axis here is y dash axis which is just a shifted axis here is our direct x line so if you see that the axis of a parabola this is the axis of the parabola that is this line is passing through the focus and this line is perpendicular to this direct x line this axis of the parabola is parallel to this y axis and if i suppose that here is my vertex point and here is my focus point then the parabola opens downward 
and this is the axis which is a shifted axis which is y dash and if the parabola opens downward then here is our direct x line if you see that this axis of a parabola is parallel to this y axis that we are not known that the parabola opens upward or opens downward the equation in that situation is that x minus h square which is equals to y minus k and i use the unknown term which is beta and this is my first equation and what is beta beta may be beta may be 4a or minus 4a so we have not confirmed that the parabola opens upward or downward and that these three points lie on a parabola then it must satisfy this equation mean so x the value of x is z who minus h square which is equals to beta is unknown as we have to conclude the value of k h is equals to z question mark k is equals to unknown and the beta is equals to unknown so we have to find these values and this is our main objective three minus k so we just solve it further so it will be h square which is equals to beta three minus k and I suppose that this is my second equation so it will be three minus h square which is equals to beta is unknown and y is 4 minus k so in the next step we just simplify here we use the formula of a square so it will be h square plus 9 minus 6 h which is equals to beta 4 minus k and this I suppose that this is my third equation 4 minus h square which is equals to beta 11 minus k so if I solve it further then it will be h square plus 16 minus 8h which is equals to beta 11 minus k and this is my fourth equation now we solve these three equations simultaneously to find the three unknown terms which is this so if i subtract my third and second equation so if i rewrite this h square plus 9 minus 6h which is equals to 4 beta minus beta k and my second equation is h square which is equals to 3 beta minus beta k and if i subtract it then signs will be changed in this procedure so these are cancel out and we are left with 9 minus 6 h which is equals to beta h square plus 16 minus 8 h which is equals to 11 beta minus beta h and the third equation is h square plus 9 minus 6 h which is equals to 4 beta minus beta k and again subtract all signs will be changed 7 minus 2 h which is equals to 7 beta and this also cancel out this we find the value of beta so just put the beta in this equation so we will get 7 minus 2 h which is equals to 7 the beta is 9 minus 6 h minus 2 h plus 7 which is equals to 63 minus 42 h 40 h is equals to 56 and in the next step h is equals to 56 divided by 40 and if we solve further it will be 7 over 5 so we finally find the first unknown term which is h put h is equals to 7 over 5 in fifth equation so i will get the value of beta beta which is equals to 9 minus 6 7 over 5 so if i solve it further so beta which is equals to 9 minus 42 divided by 5 it will be 45 minus 42 divided by 5 which is equals to 3 over 5 means we have to find the value of beta which is 3 over 5 so then if i put this in second equation then h is 7 over 5 square which is equals to beta is 3 over 5 and this is 3 minus k so we finally conclude that it will be 49 divided by 25 which is equals to 3 over 5 3 minus k and uh, if I multiply 5 on both sides then 49 divided by 5 is equals to 3 
and 3 minus k. Then it will be 49 is equals to 45 minus 15 k. Multiply 5 on both sides. 4 is equal to minus 15 k. Then the value of k which is minus 4 divided by 15. So we have to find the value of h, k and beta. So put these values in first equation. x minus h. The value of h is 7 over 5 here which is equals to beta. Beta is 3 over 5 and y minus k. The value of k minus 4 over 15. x square minus 7 over 5 square which is equals to 3 over 5 y plus 4 divided by 15. So this is our final equation of a parabola. So if you like this then don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.